everyone, it's Cami, and I am making a pair of Sunflower custom sneakers, just cheap old, old sneakers from Walmart, and I hope you like it. Here are the sneakers themselves, and I'm just going to sketch on the sunflowers first so I can paint them after, and yeah. So first, I'm going to be sketching a bunch of these little sunflowers onto my sneakers. No uh, blending or anything, we're just going to use that as a stencil to paint on. Okay, so now that you've gotten one shoe all drawn in, you're gonna make sure you, it looks even on both sides and that there's no big ugly gaps. And when you're drawing your flowers, you wanna make sure that some overlap each other to make that natural look, because that happens a lot in sunflowers. Um, I'm gonna head on and do the shoe really fast off camera, and then when I get back, we'll start painting. Okay, so I have my um, shoes all sketched out on sunflowers, and I'm just getting ready to start painting. I have a couple shades of yellow, a couple shades of green, a black, two, and two browns, and definitely white. And I used all of these from Apple Barrel. They are very cheap at Walmart, so this is definitely a cost-efficient video. But yeah, and then I sketched the sunflowers on with an H pencil by Faber-Castell, which pretty easy to find in any art room that you've ever been in. Um, but yeah, so get your brushes out and get ready to paint. So first, I started by drawing my own sunflower just to practice on paper, and then I'm just going to paint these on these little shoes. All right, so yay, we are ready to start. So let me get my brushes out and my water, which I already used from the sunflower. That's why it's there's some dirty brushes. And I have just a little paper towel thing so I can dry off my brushes in between colors. And you want to make sure you start with clean, newer brushes so there's no problems there. And the first color I'm going to start with is yellow. I'm just going to put this other sneaker away for now. But the first color I'm going to start with is this really light yellow. It's called Sunny Day by Apple Barrel. And I'm just going to take that and put it on all of the petals at first. So I'm going to finish doing this off camera. All you're gonna do is just paint all of them around. Don't get the middle because you don't wanna have that all messy and thick But when you get the brown in. Just coat these. You can do two coats of the yellow and then we'll go in with the other colors to define and make it look more realistic. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this slightly darker color, and that is the color King's Gold by Apple Barrel, and I'm going to be taking that and putting it closer to the middle of the sunflower, and this will add a little bit of like shade to this flower, and it will cause it to look more realistic.
I'm gonna rip it out. Good. I should put something down so I don't get my not my room test. That's fine. So once you get all of this on there, you are going to want to keep it, get it a little bit darker in the middle. So I'm going to take this sunny day color and I'm going to mix it with my light brown just a little bit to make it a shade darker than it is already. So it adds more deep colors into the middle, which makes it look like it's folded like an actual petal would be. I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker and take even more brown colored. And I'm going to mix that all together to make this really light brown or a really dark tan. Almost a skin color. And you're just gonna take that and you're gonna keep it down towards the, the center of the sunflower so you can paint it all along that circle right there because it's all going to have that. Alright, so now that I have that, I think I'm going to take in the brown center. No. And I'm just going to get some brown on my brush. There's too much water. I'm going to get some brown on my brush and I'm just going to paint that center in. Actually gonna get a bigger brush for this. I'm gonna use this one. So here's your circle, but I'm actually going to take a smaller brush because that was too big for me. And I'm going to do the outline of the circle in the middle. And then I'm going to take some of this light milk chocolate brown and I'm going to go into the middle with that. And create a really light spot in the middle and then make it lighter and lighter as you get in there inwards. This will mock that middle of a sunflower and how light they get and then you can mix a little bit of white with your brown and use that in the middle okay so once you've done that I'm just gonna actually take a little bit more of that brown and bring it up into the flowers so you want to get your darkest darks and your lightest lights kind of faded in so they don't look so crazy on one spot So there is that, 
and now I'm going to outline the petals of the flower. my first flower and I'm just gonna continue and finish the rest of the shoe and I'll come right back all right so as you can see I've just finished the sneakers I gotten all the sunflowers painted on them it was a very long process and frustrating because it's hard when you mess up a little bit but I like the outcome and I hope you guys can achieve the same thing just put your mind to it and you got this